Shabbat Shalom, Sen Bet Salam, this is Wendem Yadin, and this is the 12th uh, Shabbat in our cycle of Torah portion readings and feedings, known as, um, in the modern Hebrew as Vayachi, or Vayachi, or really Vayachai, Vayachai, really um, Vayachai, Vayachai, Chai means life, and uh just thought about it. Bob had a, um, in one of the pictures, he had a chai symbol. Chai, sometimes they spell it as C-H-A-I, is the transliteration for the Hebrew for life and living. Vayachai. So this key word or the title, not so much the title, but the key, the key word for this Torah portion reading and feeding um, the, we can call it the distinctive word. It's what we would refer to as um, what the Torah, each Torah portion has a particular key word. Now, even though we find this among the Jews who call themselves Jews, we have traced it to an older and an Ethiopic, Ethiopian Hebrew, black Hebrew. And when we say black, we're referring to the lost sheep. So today they will call them black, Hispanics, and um, certain native tribes like the Seminole um, Indians or Native Americans. So, Vayachai, they say Vayachi, really it's Weyachai, Weyachai. That's the Hebrew for and he lived. And it's the first word of the Parsha, of the portion. And this is the 12th weekly Torah portion, or as I and I know it, the Rastafari sabbatical. The sabbatical, the sabbatical strong, right? They say the weak, we say the strong, or the shabua, right? And the Ethiopic is uh, subae, right? Or the the shabua, the shabua, the shabua, the parsha, right? For this, in our annual Ethiopian Hebrew cycle of um, the Torah readings, the orita, minbab, nibab, the readings, and it's the last in the book of Genesis. It's the last in the book of Berasit or Bereshit. They say Bereshit, we say Berasit, because we know that that Rosh is Aras, right? It's Aras. If you read it in the Hebrew, you'll see very clearly it is Aras, right? Now, this constitutes Genesis chapter 47, verse 28, to Genesis chapter 50, verse 26. Now, we as Ethiopian Hebrews, or we also use the terminology of black Jews. Now, some of our people object to that. It's an operative term, right? It's an operative term, um, black Jews. We know that Jew, Yehuda, right, is Judah or black Judeans, right? And this is related to Ainai, the conquering line of the tribe of Judah and the king of kings, all right? So this is bring this one up as well, all right? So our... Torah portion readings and feedings. All right, this is the Torah portion reading and feeding, known in the Hebrew as where Yehai, and he lived. In the Hebrew, Masoretic, Masor means the tradition. So this traces back to the tradition, much of it, right? We've weeded it because of our, um, Ethiopic or the children of the Ethiopians witness, the faithful Ethiopians, the Afro-Shemitic. Not all, quote, Ethiopians are Shemites, but we know that the Hebrew establishment of Kedemawi Hala Selassie is Afro-Shemitic. We've traced it. There's a lot of COINTELPRO out there, and many of our black Hebrew and Hebrews are like um, brothers and sisters have been led to believe it. But we recognize what the scripture says that for the gospel, the good news of the King of Kings, right? And what we know as the Rastafari revelation, right? They are enemies because of the gospel. In other words, they oppose it, right? Because of what they have been taught. Now, we have to recognize that this Torah portion is significant in relation to um, the prophecy, right? For us in the diaspora, right? The prophecy for us in the diaspora. Now, there's five... Summary matters. Now, I have Burhana Selassie here with his arms stretched out, and I'm seeking to make an analogy of the Joseph, 
the Yosef aspect of Burhana Salasi. And those of us as Rastafar, we very clearly understand that Joseph connection and we've touched on it elsewhere and gone into more detail to show that as Joseph or Yosef, right, was a type, right, Joseph was a type of Christ. And Joseph was a type of Christ. It's another, it's another word pick that I did not bring forward. I did not open up right here. Let me see if I can open this up if it's here, if it's on one of these pages right here, I think this will be a, a beautiful kind of example, a word picture, word art, a, a beautiful example, right? Um, a kind of a, a kind of a artifact, right? Art and fact right here of what we are speaking about. So ones can get a visual because you have to recognize how television and a lot of the imagery when we're speaking of the of our biblical and Hebrew and ancient and ancestors and the and the and our true story, our true narrative, that much of it has been um what we call it whitewashed, right? Most of it has been whitewashed in order to it's a psychological thing done. It, 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 it's kind of a it's kind of a psyops, very effective psyops, and has caused a defect Right when we are seeking to make that connection with our people, because um, it, it, they they think seeing is believing. Now this is another subject matter right here. Let's see if we can bring this up. I think one more. Let's try and see if we can bring this up. So excuse me, slicha, uh, slicha, uh, um, um See if we can bring this up. There was one particular imagery that we had actually brought forward. It might be up here. If it's not up here, we'll let it go past. It was um, an interesting thematic element. So you can see the Joseph, you know, the Joseph uh, connection. So Bob Marley for us is a type of a Joseph. And we've seen that very clearly. And it's still manifests to this very day. We see that even Obama, he is the present king or pharaoh of this Egypt, and he knows not, he really does not know. He thinks that Bob Marley is, is a philosopher and that it's about politics because many people do receive that aspect. That's the natural man. The natural man sees that aspect to even the Rastafari revelation that the spiritual aspects are often hidden because um, as a man thinketh in his uh, heart, so is he, right? As he thinketh in his heart, so is he. So I don't have it right here. Um, it was, I must have moved the page and everything. So excuse me for this this little segue here, looking at some of the available um art and facts that we have right here. I thought it was um, along here. If I look up Joseph, I might be able to find it right here. But let's bring this one up instead. So Bob Marley is I and I type of Joseph. Right? He's actually the Rastafari. When we say Rastafari Joseph, it's important that we focus on the new name. Right? The new name. Rosh. Tefari, Tiferet, right? The king in his beauty. Now, this Torah portion speaks of the burial, right? In the Kana'an, right? Speaks of the, the burial of, um, of Yaakov, of Jacob, father Jacob. The blessing of Ephraim or Ephraim and Manasseh. And I and I sister have brought out from the metaphysical sister Sophie concerning, um, the, the the mysteries of Christ that Ephraim every key word every proper name also has a spiritual aspect to it, right? There's the narrative of the of the particular character, but then when we even look into the name and we study to show ourselves approved, we see that Ephraim relates to the will, and Manasseh relates to the understanding, and Ephraim relates to the um the positive and 
understanding is the negative or the denial, the affirmative and denial or the yea and the nay aspect of our of our Christ mind. Now, Jacob, Yaakov, Father Jacob, he gives a blessing. Then we have the burial of Jacob and we have the death of Joseph. So there's five main matters here. And if we can begin in our discipleship radio and our gathering together to even start to to utilize the um the Hebrew books, you know, like when Bereshith here, the Hebrew book of Genesis, and we've touched on that and showed that elsewhere we have the PDF right there to use that as a as as a order of study, a basic order of study, so that some of y'all might be a little bit further here or there, but so we can you know be on one page, right? So we can be on one page in his order after the order of Melchizedek, so. The first matter, the first death, right here, right, which is going to lead into uh, um, Exodus, right. We have uh, Jacob. Okay, let's bring this forward. Jacob, right here. So we have Jacob right here. So here we have Jacob. Now, why do we have these um, the Afro American or Negro, Ethiopian, Hebrew? Or Beit Israel, the Negro House of Israel leaders. These are some very key brothers, right? Whom the spirit of of Yahweh, of He who be who He be, of Ha Elohim, right? Beshem Yeshua, Beshem Ha Adon Yeshua, Ha Moshiach was in these brothers. Now, many of them didn't go in the Christian sense. It's interesting because two and two, the two on your left hand, right, on your visual left hand, Prophet William Saunders Crowdy came from, we could say, the old time church perspective. But he immediately identified that um, so-called Negroes and black people, right, because of the evidence and the artifacts and the documentation, as well as our historical experience and condition to be the Lost, found, sheep of the house of Israel. Then below we have um, Reverend Webb. So he was coming from more of what one can, one can say, not just a New Testament, but 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 a Christian. But but when I say a black Christian, is very important. A Hebrew. He was rightly in spirit interpreting the word that was available to him in his time. So he's a black Jacobite, right? He, he's a Jacobite. Very, very key. And this is why I'm touching on this. A Jacobite. I like to give you the, the kind of historical, the biblical, the narrative, but then also it's the prophecy to prophesy again. It's very important to prophesy again because this is how these bones, these bones, these dry bones begin to take on flesh and sinew. And this is what has been happening over, over almost a, a hundred years. Right, roughly going on a hundred years. I think it's almost coming up to a hundred years, but especially over the past forty years, right? Um, there's been like a double resurrection. Some are resurrecting to righteousness, recognizing who they are, who the Savior is, Yeshua HaMoshiach, Jesus Christo. Some might, some camps might pronounce the names a little bit differently, but it's really the fruit, right? You judge a tree by its fruit. Right, so there's much that we share in common, right, based on these particular Jacobites. So, in the prophetic aspect of this Torah portion, which Balmarin is called uh, Benorbet, Benorbet, and he dwelt and he lived in it, Vayichai, and he lived in it. Right, is speaking of 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 Jacob, right? The speaking of. Uh, Father Jacob. I'm going to get into New Testament reading. The New Testament reading is also a very much a key. By the time we come to this seventh day, if you're in the proper order of Sabbath Torah portion studies, then already now after the, this seventh day, the Sabbath day, we already begin the 13th. In the words, the next Torah portion from the first day, Ehud, or the so-called Sunday. Right? So if we go to 48... Let's go to 48. Is it 4728? Salika. 4728. So we go to 4728 of um Genesis. Alright. 4728. 
here's what it reads so we can understand the concept of where Yahai and he lived or Vayahai, right? 28, right? 47, 28 says this right here. It says, and Jacob, Yaakov, lived in the land of Egypt 17 years. Now, remember that Joseph was uh, 17 years old. Remember when it begins with Joseph, Joseph's story, his narrative. So Jacob lived in the land of Kemet for 17 years. So the whole or the Ham, Kam, so the whole age of Yaakov was 140 and seven and seven years. And verse 29 says, and the time drew Karabe, Karav, right? It drew nigh near that Israel must die. This is very interesting because the previous Torah portion, the Haftarah, the prophets was Ezekiel chapter 37, the dry bones. And that's why the prophecy is so important. So you have to recognize that in the prophetic of this, in this present time, now that we're in 2015, Right, according to the Western Gentile, the prophetic aspect of this is referring to our Jacobs, right, or those who in spirit, right, have brought forward that consciousness, and these are the Jacobites. But a particular Jacob, I want to focus on is this brother right here, 